Hello, grads of uh, Finland Academy and uh, fellow traders. In the weekly recap, uh, what we expect ne next week. Uh, but remember, going forward, uh, next week we are heading into a budget week, uh, and uh, we will see some strong moves either up or down. So, as a trader, uh, let's know. Where are those price points uh, we should uh, be keenly watching for? See, I will plot on Nifty the 50 day moving average. So, the platform which I am using is MTrade. And if you see, let's compare this year with last year. See, last year you had a decline prior to the budget. This was the decline prior to budget and then you had a bull run. But remember one thing that this decline when it happened, prices were trading above the 50 day moving average. So 50 day moving average acted as a support, cushioned the fall of the budget and from there the uptrend continued. But going uh, this year, we are trading below 50. This is the 50 day moving average for Nifty. Let me once again check it. Yes, it's correct, it's 50 day. So this year we are trading below the 50 day moving average. So I'll drop a line at the 50 day moving average, which is at, uh, uh, I'll be very, very precise. And we need to see price close above the 50 DMA, which is at 17,425. Once we close above this, then only we uh, expect an uptrend which can be even driven. In which uh, once 50 DMA is crossed, we can see the last high around 18,000 or uh, even 18,600 this high. Right? And we are heading into this budget with price congestion. What does it mean? This is the 50 DMA. Now I'll plot the 200 day moving average. And the 200 day moving average will be the white line. So now you have price congestion, which means that. Uh, just uh, let me remove uh, the stamps over there so it will give you a better experience in viewing the video yes so now uh, price congestion means we are trading in between the long term which is the 200 day moving average and the medium term which is the 50 day moving average now as a trader i have to wait for a confirmation which means uh, let price close above the 50 DMA for us to say that the uptrend will resume or once price close below the 200 day moving average at 16,600 which will signal a substantial decline in the market because for the first time uh, since uh, COVID level days, the uh, first time after crossing the 200 DMA we tested here once Again on budget, uh, it is close to that. So once this breaks, uh, expect strong declines. So budget, budget is an event and ahead of event, market has gone into price congestion, which means it's trading between 50 and 200 day moving average. Close above 50, expect a strong up move. Break of 200 day moving average, expect a down move. So volatility will be there and within this band, uh, there will be huge volatility. So as a trader, if you are seeking for the direction of this consolidation which is going on, uh, either it could be a up direction, close above the 50 day or a down direction, close below the 200 DMA. So be careful, be uh, cautious and uh, always keep this in mind, uh, the 50 DMA and 200 DMA. We are heading into the budget with price congestion which means price trading between the medium term average which is 50 and the long term which is 200. Same thing, let us go and check for bank nifty. Bank nifty is relatively stronger than nifty. Why we are saying that? Because 
uh, bank nifty is trading above the 50 see this reaction the 50 and 200 day is acting as a support having said that budget is an event and we need a confirmation uh, which means that we need to see the break of this high if this high is breached then on the upside as far as a trending move is concerned we can expect a uh, uh, test of uh, the levels around the all time highs which is around 41000 level and break of the recent low is not just a swing low please keep take a note of it it will be the break of the 50 and 200 day moving average so in that case uh, this support this lows won't act as a support it would uh, see a free fall below this keep that in mind because once averages after testing once or twice third time if it breaks on the downside then the reference point for it as a support weakens considerably and we can see a decline on the uh, bank nifty so going forward bank nifty looks stronger than nifty why because it is above 50 nifty is weaker than bank nifty why because it is below 50 so as a trader and uh, given the event uh, in the event, I would be in a zero position. Post the event, let price show me the direction, which means Nifty closing above 50 and Bank Nifty closing above the swing high to signal an uptrend or it breaking the 200 day moving average to signal a downtrend. And accordingly, I will trade the market. So, going forward for a day or two, generally as a traders, as a swing traders, uh, either we uh, uh, do wing strategies on options as far as uh, naked positions are concerned either long or short uh, uh, is not at, uh, as a trader I wouldn't take at this point of time uh, strategy out of volatility you can apply uh, which you would have learned uh, from the smart index trader program or the option traders program from Finlon Academy you can apply strategy uh, which are volatility based as far as direction is based, we'll have to wait for a confirmation in which, again I repeat, Nifty closing above 50 DMA, Bank Nifty closing above the swing high for an uptrend or take below the low for a downtrend. So, and now, uh, but the market uh, is waiting for an event. It is very, very clear after the decline, it is gone sideways. So, knee-jerk reactions or the near-term direction will be driven by the break of the averages or the break of the highs for uptrend for highs and break of the averages for decline. So, keep a note of it and accordingly you can decide your trading strategies. Uh, that's all from Villan Academy in this weekly upgrade.